So because Octavia Prime is the latest Prime Warframe, obviously a lot of people are curious as to what kind of fashion frame I'm doing with her, so without further ado, let's get into it. Here we are in Fortuna with Octavia Prime. So the color scheme that I'm using for Octavia Prime is actually pretty straightforward and I'm not even using any of the special skins that she has at the present moment. Because generally speaking, when a new Warframe comes out, I like to use her base skin, or his or her base skin, for the time being. So, the colour scheme is very straightforward. We are looking at a classic or classic saturated white for her primary colour. This, of course, really changes her jacket, as well as the top of her hat, as well as a little bit around her neck as well. So that is going to be what I'm going to give her. The secondary colour is going to be a bit of a navy kind of look right here, giving some additional details to her white jacket, otherwise if we were, we were to go for white you can see a lot of the details get missed, so I'm going to just go for that instead, I think that's actually a really nice look. It also changes the colour of her boots as well, so that is definitely something to keep in mind on, an eye on if you want to actually change the colour of her boots, you're going to have to use that secondary colour. The tertiary colour is going to be a mid-grey, not a pitch black, because I feel like when you go pitch black, sometimes you might come across an issue where some of the details around her thigh area actually get lost, so for the time being, I'm just going to stick to that. Otherwise, it really just changes all of this stuff right here, as, as you can see. The accents are going to always be gold, because the gold basically dictates what kind of shiny bits she has. I like gold, so there we go, it's going to be gold always. The emissive is actually going to change the colour of her string, so if I go for a red, you can see that her strings are actually changing colour for the most part. Therefore, I'm sticking with a green into teal kind of look right now for her emissive, because it seems to work really, really well with her overall design. And her energy colour is actually going to stick with a red into magenta. Now, this actually changes not just the feather on her head, but also the mandacords on her arms. So keep an eye on that when it comes to figuring out what energy colour you want, because I feel like, personally, the energy colour that Octavia Prime comes with actually works really really well with her right from the get-go, therefore I'm just going to stick with that instead. Now in terms of the skins that I'm using, I'm still using the Prime Helmet and the Prime Skin. You could potentially swap it out with something like Octavia Diva because Octavia Diva looks really really nice so if you want to try that, that could be a really really good option. Alternatively, Octavia Regular is there but I wouldn't really recommend Octavia Regular when you have Octavia Prime. I don't particularly like the Maestra Helmet anymore. So I don't kind of use it, it kind of looks more like a demon head. But if you like that look, you can potentially try that. But either way, I'm just going to stick with Octavia Prime Helmet for now, because it seems to work a lot better with a lot of the aesthetics that come with the Prime Skin. But speaking of the Prime Skin, you could potentially swap to something like Octavia Diva for some sort of a more simplified look, if you so desire, or the Maestro Skin if you really feel like it, but I feel like the Maestro Skin and the Prime Helmet kind of clash too much, so I might just stay away from that. And then the same idea with the Octavia Regular Helmet, I might actually stay away from the Octavia regular skin because why use that when I could use this? I think that works a lot better, obviously because the Prime skin and the Prime helmet are designed to fit with each other. Now, the animation set that I choose to use is the Octavia Noble animation set, but if you like to use the Agile animation set, that's entirely up to you as well. But personally, I don't particularly like Agile animation sets all that much. There's only maybe like a handful that I like, like for example, Wisp, but either way, I'm just going to stick with Octavia Noble animation set. Now in terms of the attachments, this is actually the one Warframe where I basically have no attachments outside of the wings. I kind of feel like the chests are really cumbersome, the chest pieces rather are really cumbersome so I kind of just avoid them at all costs and the same idea with the arm pads and all that stuff, they just seem really unnecessary for someone like Octavia and ditto with the leg pieces. If anything, the leg pieces are even worse because they kind of either look like they're floating in midair or they're kind of in the way of some of the bits and pieces that Octavia Prime has on her legs. So at that point, I kind of just avoided all of the attachments altogether. But I am going to use the Eros Wing Ephemera. So because of that, my accent is actually going to be blue because that actually changes the tip of the feathers on her wings. So as a result, I've decided to not go for gold because sometimes that doesn't look all that good. The tertiary colour appears to be completely meaningless, so the primary colour of course being black is going to dictate the inner parts of her feathery wings, whereas the secondary is going to dictate the main part of her feathers, so that is going to be really really good. As far as I can tell the emissive is completely meaningless, but the energy colour is basically going to deal with the special effects that come out of her wings, so in this case I have gone for a good old fashioned red, uh, sorry, green into teal, just so that it fits with the rest of her aesthetic. 
And in terms of the Cyan Dana, I have decided to continue using the Isabo Cyan Dana. The Isabo Prime being a gigantic cape is of course something that I much prefer over something like Octavia Prime's Serenadine Prime Cyan Dana, which looks like this. I prefer flowing capes as opposed to dangly bits, so that's just me. If you prefer dangly bits over flowing capes, then the Serenadine Prime Cyan Dana is absolutely perfect for Octavia Prime, obviously, because it has the same sort of mandacord looking effect that Octavia has with her arms, so that is definitely something worth considering if you so desire. But for me personally, I think Isabeau Prime being a gigantic flowing cape is the way to for me. The only thing I might change is the energy color, but I'm not entirely sure how I want to do it, deal with it, but for the time being, it seems to be fine, so I'm just going to leave it well enough alone. And finally, I've decided to put in my alliance and clan emblems on either shoulder, so that's basically what I'm doing there. So that's pretty much it. Really, really straightforward fashion frame for Octavia Prime. What do you think about this fashion frame, and what would you do for your fashion frame? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more fashion frame action, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.